Well, this should be a really interesting adventure. I'm with my friend Gord Ellis, uh, who guides for the Quebec Lodge, longtime buddy that's actually a sports writer from Thunder Bay, Ontario. Uh, Gord, I know you love fishing for brook trout, but I've got a different mission for us. I want to go for big lake trout in Northern Pike. I mean, this is a really unique spot, spot of Ontario. It's one of the most beautiful areas of the whole province. I mean, it's really amazing just driving up into this region. It's incredible. And uh, we are going to fish Lake Nipigon today, hopefully get those big pike and lake trout. Uh, we're on the shores of Lake Superior, uh, right behind us, Nipigon Bay. Superior country has just some of the most gorgeous areas. We're, I'm talking about Kekebeka Falls, um, you, the Red Rock, uh, the, you can see just outside where we are here, um, uh, D the Dorian area, Sleeping Giant Provincial Park, uh, all sorts of lakes and streams, just a beautiful wild place to be. It really, it really is. It's a really gorgeous spot up here. I know one thing, I'm really looking forward to it. I know one thing, I've actually drove around the, a number of di different times fishing around this area, but I've never fished on Lake Nipigon. Fishing it with you should be an interesting adventure. Looking forward to it. The Ontario experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself. And who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip. Like one way off bottom there. Yeah, he's like eight feet up. I got him. I got that one. I reeled up to him and got him. I'll get the net out. The cool thing about these fish, the average size of fish on Nipigon, boy, I guarantee you one thing, there's some real tanks in this 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 lake. Yeah, there's some good fish. Whoa, whoa. I'm coming, I'm coming. What's that? <laughs> That's a real, he's a real whippersnapper here, Gord. What are you doing with the net? Just rustling, what? rustling the net. <laughs> okay. This Let's guy here, he just woke up. Come on up. Yeah, he, he came right up and then he went down and then he said, uh, wait a second here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not done yet. No. Boy, there's Oh, yeah, there he is. Whoa, whoa. The old three-way rig. Yeah. It's a classic. One of my faves. The other thing here, of course, barbless, right? Yeah. Like up against, so you got to keep a good tight, tight line. Tight line on it. it. I know. That's what I've, I was sort of, wow. Powerful. There we See go. It. Wow. This guy there is one tough sucker. There we go. There we go. Yeah, There's, baby. Wow. Nice, Jim. Look at that thing. That's what I mean. Well, that's a big one. Look at that thing, boy, they're beautiful fish. No nice question job, about Jim. that. Look at that thing. Beauty. Gor gorgeous. Lake trout. Look at it starting to get its colors a little bit. Spawning colors. Beautiful fish though. Good fish. I'm, t I'm telling you. And you know what? <laughs> that's like an average one here. I know. Which is that's amazing, what, right? The odd thing is, you know, we've been fishing for the last couple of days. So you can't believe the average size lake trout in here. We've actually had some real whippersnappers too, like, like double this size here. We'll get this fish back in the water. Beautiful fish though. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's Holy. another one. Oh, good job. That looks like a better one. Yeah. Wow. That didn't take very long. No. <laughs> no, well, they were, we're starting to get on the program. Yeah, I think so. I don't I know what this one here is. I think you got I like this when you hook up when you hooking up fish and they feel like bo you got you you're on a bowling ball. I didn't <laughs> even it's like you could I didn't even get to the bottom and you had one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a, I think this is a 
Yeah, this is a real boy. Significant super tanker. Yeah. <laughs> Might need a bigger net. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new favorite lake. <laughs> wow, I'm not kidding you. This no, I know that's that's intense, man. <laughs> there we go. There you go. You get her? Well, there you go. There oh. you go. Wow, Gord, I like the way your net routine yeah. here. That I don't like it to get too deep in the net, you know. I can see it's like that. Like a trampoline. Yeah, but when I get a forty-pounder, I'm gonna go. With, let's go with the whole net. Okay. Well, I'll, okay. I'll release the mesh. Yeah. Okay. Wow, nice one. Come here, buddy. That's what I mean. Beauty. The, the most amazing thing. This is like the average size fish. I mean, it's just fabulous. And it's just such incredible fishing. It really is. Look at that beautiful. Boy, this was a tough sucker. Yeah, we'll fighter. get her back in the water. Come here, buddy. Okay. Come here, buddy. Oh. I'm telling you, that's my favorite activity. It really is. Lake trout fishing on Lake Nipigon. It's not so bad. <laughs> no, yeah. it's it. No. Right now, it's the uh, third week of September, and uh, these lake trout are just coming up to spawn. And they spawn on these main lake, uh, real clean, washed rock piles. But the thing is, the interesting thing is, is just the, the density of the average fish, like what Gord was saying, the average size fish in Lake Nipigon, it's just incredible. I mean, they average like what, eight to 12, 15 pounds. Yeah. I mean, that's the average size fish. And every year, how big, what are the biggest fish that you've seen out of here, Gord? So, uh, like you said, Jim, uh, you know, your average fish is pushing 12 pounds here, eight to 12 pounds. I've uh, caught them up to 30. I've heard of uh, 40. The biggest I know is uh, in the 50 pound range. So this is giant country for lake trout. And it's just one of those immaculate fisheries where uh, lake trout have everything they need. They have cold water, they have tons of food, and they have this ex hugely expansive lake with really not a ton of pressure on it. So it's the perfect place to catch a giant lake trout and catch numbers of them too. You can catch a, you have a pretty good day out here catching big lakers. So lake Nipigon is uh, the largest inland lake in Ontario outside of the Great Lakes. It could be a Great Lakes really, it's that big. Uh, the Nip the uh, Nipigon River is actually the largest tributary to Lake Superior, but the lake itself, you're talking about about 70 miles high by 40 to 50 miles wide. Unbelievable depth, like down to 500, I think it's, it's over 500 feet for sure. Average depth, 180 feet. So you're dealing with some really, really deep water and uh, crystal clear water and just a, a very rare situation in our modern world. Uh, there's no industry here. There's a few small communities, uh, very few cottages, just a really unique place, a very, very wild place where you can go out and literally for days and not see anybody, which is rare in this, in this uh, day and age. So yeah, great place to come and explore and, and fish. One of my very fondest memories fishing out here is uh, with my dad. Uh, we did a Lund Ultimate Fishing Show really very close to here for brook trout. And brook trout really are sort of the glamour species of Lake Nipigon in the Nipigon region. This is where the world record was caught. And that was a super fun day because it was sunny and uh, I was out, out with my dad and he's a great fisherman and I learned fishing from him. So we've had a lot of brook trout and I spend now, I, I guide out here. And so I spend upwards to a hundred days a year on this water and I don't get tired of it. It's just so beautiful. And not only can you catch fantastic brook trout here, but you can catch Lakers and, and pike and walleye, but it's just spectacular to be here. This is the cleanest water. It's crystal clear, it's cold. And uh, you know, we see a ton of wildlife. We see moose swimming across and uh, you know, driving up to, up to the lake, you'll see a lynx run across the road, and just a wonderful place to spend a lot of time. What about the river? I know you were out salmon fishing in, uh, on the river. You actually have a pretty good salmon fishery as, as well as uh, all different species in the river, don't you? So there's a, 
a really good salmon fishery in the Nipigon River. We have uh, Chinook or King Salmon. They're naturalized. They were introduced in the 50s, but they're natural spawning. Uh, basically wild fish now. We also have Pink Salmon, uh, which is a West Coast fish, and also Coho. Also uh, Steelhead, which are uh, rainbows that come in from Lake Superior. Plus, you can catch a whole bunch of other things there. There's a great uh, brook trout fishery there during the summer, spring and summer in particular. Um, they come in from Lake Superior. They're called coaster brook trout. They can get quite large. So it's a really diverse fishery. I spent a lot of time there as well. And uh, you can even get lake trout in the springtime. Uh, lake trout come up from Lake Superior and uh, run into the river. And so you just never know what you're going to catch in the Nipigon River. And there's a lot of water there to fish. It's a big river. It's the largest tributary to Lake Superior. You can run a big boat in it. You can fish from shore. And uh, yeah, it's just a wonderful place to, uh, to fish. Got him. <laughs> I didn't take long. No, it, this oddest thing, we were j j vertical jigging and we're seeing all these fish and we can't catch them. And we, as soon as we put these three-way rig down with a big, uh, just a light flutter spoon, we went through the group and we went about 20 yards and <laughs> hooked up again. I'm going to be your net man today. That's good. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Gord, Gord. Pumper. <laughs> Gord, we got one. <laughs> yeah, we got a good one? I, I don't know. Yeah, he's a pretty serious. Look, look at them. I oh, see. Yeah, beautiful fish. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Big, big bubbles. Come here, buddy. There we go. Okay. The interesting thing is, Look at the depth finder right now. Yeah. Look just, at that. Look at, there's like a big giant schools of them down there, of these things. These are like stamp outs there, they, right? They're stamp outs. <laughs> look at the spawning colors are starting to really get bright. The, the, uh, the leading edge here, the white leading edge, yeah. is, you know, it really becomes pronounced this time of year, but in that yellow and orange, yeah. just gorgeous. Yeah. Boy, are they beautiful fish, aren't they? We'll get her back in the water. Come here, buddy. Whoa! Now that is fun. This is a classic rig that we use a lot for lake trout fishing. It's uh, the old Wolf River rig, which is actually a three-way, like a four-ounce weight or a five-ounce uh, ball sinker, and then a light flutter spoon. As you can see, what this sinker is bouncing on the bottom, and the flutter spoon is very light, so it's actually up rocking like this, but it's a really great way to, to control fish in deeper water, anywhere from, you know, 30 to, well, to, you can fish it shallower, but 30 to 60, 70 foot of water, but it's a real simple system that's really highly effective for lake trout. Normally with this, we're gonna be trolling anywhere be from like a 0.8 to maybe 1.2 miles an hour. And you get that rig down on the bottom, and what we're doing is just bouncing that sinker on the bottom, and it's, it puts a little erratic behavior into the spoon as it's bouncing, ricocheting off the bottom. One of the cool things about this three-way rig or the Wolf River rig is, although it works great for lake trout, you can use it for any species. Use it a lot for walleye. I'll run uh, either a, a crawler harness or a spinner off of it. Sometimes uh, like a floating rapala works great. You can use it actually for brook trout. We'll run like um, a spinner off of a three-way rig. A pike, caught lots of pike uh, using three-way rigs. So, uh, even as uh, panfish, like perch, you can uh, you know, run a, like a little tube or you can run a little minnow off, off of the hook. Just a really good way to get down and have a very controlled presentation. One thing really nice with this system, you'll notice the angle of our line. Uh, as we're moving along, we're actually fishing this almost pretty vertical. It's almost straight up and down. It, there's not a lot of uh, line out in back of the boat, so it's really controlled. One thing that's really nice about this, like when we're lake trout fishing, because we're fishing along really sharp ledge drops, we can actually just walk that bait up and down following the contour of the drop, whatever it is. But it's really highly efficient. So you can see how I'm just sort of bouncing the, the lead on the bottom, boink, boink. <laughs> and every once in a while, when a lake trout picks it up, it's sort of interesting. <laughs>
It's about time, Gord. Yeah, I know, man. Yeah. Like I was telling you, you're a tough guy to fish behind. <laughs> yeah. It's like a, you're like a dragnet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same deal though, you know, just coming over that, uh, coming over that edge, yep. and just so many fish there, and I don't even think this guy knows he's hooked yet. No. Wow. Wow, it's a big long one. Wow. Wow, he's. Yeah, baby. Wow. Hello. <laughs> what, what, what? Now he knows what's going on. <laughs> now he he's awake. Like being in the net. <laughs> now he's awake. <laughs> what, what? I like the way you you, you pop the. Uh, that's a beautiful fish there you got, Gord. Look at that guy. Ooh, that's, yeah, a, that's big, a that's a nice one. That is a good fish. Fish. Look at that beautiful. Oh, there we go. Wow. There's a. There's a stud, <laughs> yeah. a Lake Nipigon stud right there. Beautiful fish. Just, clomp, just clomped that spoon. All right, buddy. There he goes. Beauty. Right on. One of the neat things about lake trout when you're fighting them is they have the ability to release air out of their bladders that come up and pretty exciting when you see those bubbles coming up because you know the trout's getting closer and also just the the image of that trout coming up they have these huge fins they just look like an airplane coming up with a spoon in their mouth and, and you, know, you get a real big one sometimes like like a 30 pounder it's heart stopping to see them come up they're just amazing fish the ability to live in deep water and also you can catch them in five feet of water here caught one the other day in five feet so uh, they, they can live in a lot of different habitats too Got him. I started reeling up. <laughs> I'm coming. Whoa. Hanging down wow. there? I don't know what I got here, Gord. Yeah, big? This is something big. Deep sea monster? I'm serious. I'm serious. This is something big. Wow. Well, we're going to be in the next time zone by the time we uh, <laughs> land it. Wow. Holy. We're on it. I'm not kidding you. I don't oh, know. Oh, no. Yeah, that's... What? That's Moby. Yeah, that's Moby? <laughs> Captain Ahab and yeah. Moby. Wow. It's going to be the one. Wow. I really want this one, Gore. I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. What? I haven't caught a giant lake trout for a while. And this is definitely one of the places to do this it. Is, this is a good oh, place there to she do is. it. Wow, look at that guy there, beautiful fish. There you go, whoop, well, there you go. Wow, look at that yeah, thing. Yeah, baby. <laughs> How do you like that little whippersnapper? <laughs> wow, that's unbelievable. Okay. Look at that thing there, wow, what a tank. No, Holy mackerel, look at that thing. Baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> look that's at that thing. Giant. Yeah, what? Bubba. <laughs> Look at that thing. Now that is what I call a lake trout. What a beautiful fish. No question about it. Look at that thing. Wow. Is that a beautiful animal? What a stud. The weird thing is, is there's a lot of these in this lake. That's an interesting thought. And they come a lot, they come bigger than this. Wow. What a no beast. question about it. Look at that thing. What a tank. Boy, no one thing. <laughs> That's, wow. That's what we came for. No question about it. That's why you come to Lake Nipigon in Superior Country, no question about it. Some fantastic fishing opportunities. It's always a pleasure to come up and fish with Gord Ellis, the king of Nipigon. <laughs> Gosh, she's a, he, she's a heavy little rascal. Come here, buddy. Wow. Look at that. Whoa. Hello. Now you're talking. <laughs> Good job, man. Thank you. Awesome. Boy, that is fabulous. Awesome. This is my favorite spot in the world. I'm not kidding you, but I'm easy. I know. I know one thing. We're going, we're going fishing some more. Coming back. <laughs> Oops. Look at that dog there. That was a big dog. <laughs> Wait, let me get him around this side. Whoa. He, he's still not, wow, look at that guy there. Come here. Oh, wow. Nice. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, oh, no, yeah. Whoa. Wow. 
Holy. Look at that. There's a fatty. There we go. Okay. Okay. Here. Wow. Look Beauty. at that thing. Wow. Awesome fish. Look at that thing. Beautiful pike. Wow. Look at that thing. Just a giant, huh? That's a fatty. Good job. Wow. Look at that thing. Beautiful pike. No question about it. Wow. There we go. Right there. Wow. What a beautiful yeah, fish. Man, it's an unbelievable. Good job, man. The average size of the fish in this lake is just amazing. This has been one of my bucket lip list trips that I've never been to. Lake Nipigon, and I know one thing, I'm really highly impressed by the size of the beast that yeah, lives there's in this big, lake. Yeah, there's some big studs. But, yep, we better get her back yeah. in the water. Oh, come here, buddy. Wow. Wow. Sweet. We'd like to give a special thanks to our base of operations, the Quebec Lodge overlooking Lake Superior, with access to Lake Nipigon, a real bucket list fishing destination.